live here at the JW Solar USA. Um, now we already got the grid tight inverters hooked up to their breakers, you can see. So what we're doing right now, we pulling power from the batteries to power the grid tight inverters. And now we have, we want to do this because look, the furnace is running right now. So you see it's pulling about 904 watt. And there's nothing coming in right now. We're gonna flip the breakers. And uh, this is the other side of the house that is always active. Dave always talk about. This is pulling 160. So I will let Dave flip the switch for the one that just, okay. Dave just flipped the breaker. This is for the air conditioning. Look, it's 900 and something was pulling. Now we just cover 900 on that. And it's a, a kilowatt uh, grid tight inverter and they've tried the other one this is just the house look how it's gonna cover the loads right there it's coming it's gonna wipe it out before so let's see so if you can see closely you see how we uh, the the house part is zero out it's almost only four watts it's not gonna be completely zero zero it's only four watts is buying from the grid. So I'm gonna show you the other side of the furnace. It's pulling 867. Okay, I will let Dave do that. Here we go, this is the furnace, take a look. It's only about 22 watts, we 11 watts, okay, 10. We're buying from the grid, so this is how they work. But you cannot put just max them this way because they have a threshold for only 950. Okay, this is, okay, now the furnace just shut off. Furnace shut off. And uh, you see, and they've just got a breaker there. So I gotta adjust some, do some adjustment here to compensate for the breakers not to pop on the DC side, because we don't want to run these ones in full threshold. We just want to ups, offset the power that Dave is buying from the grid, okay? So it's nothing um, we're trying to do zero, 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 zero out. So we just want to get some of the power being offset from the grid instead of buying. Uh, the other side of the house is um, totally uh, off-grid, the fridge, the freezer, the TVs, the PlayStations, and uh, internet, and the microwave, the toaster, the refrigerator, and sometimes the humidifier comes in and out. So, this is what is happening. And we are not buying nothing now from the grid. This is the one for the furnace. So, all the loads just kicking in the house. You can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So we're gonna reset this. I'm trying to play with the numbers and make sure these things work well. When Dave is not even home, he's not gonna have a breaker popped or something. I understand you know, the breaker pop is a good thing because it, it, it protects your device and so that uh, they can be on any trouble. So this is what the breakers are there for because it senses the wire, it protect the wire. You are not protecting the, um, the equipment. You're protecting the wire. So it's a thermal thing. When it reads it, it feels the temperature on the thing and uh, it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. And some people probably misconstrue the entire concept about breakers. They think they're supposed to protect your devices. No, they are not protecting your devices, the wire. The wire started getting hot, then that would be a problem. So we don't want it to start burning, so the breaker will trip. So it's nice sometimes if the breaker is not overrated. It's, it's nice, not sometimes. It's always nice your breakers not to be overrated. If they're overrated, you're in trouble. So we don't want them to be overrated. We just want them to be rated. So this is what we do. And we're not going to be running these grid tires 100%. The reason why we're not running the 100%, we want them to last longer. We want the fans to last longer or else they're going to be running 
24 7 because anytime load kicks in the house it's gonna compensate so the reason why we're doing this is because Dave only have a four kilowatt of inverter that four kilowatt inverter cannot run the entire house so four kilowatt plus two kilowatts here that gives him six kilowatt but they are running in different mode these ones can only run when when the power is on when you have the grid on they interact together you have to see the grid before it works and right now here you can see like a lightning bolt that tells you it's not seeing any power coming from the batteries all right so they constantly pulling power according to what the house requires right now is demanding that's the word so if you look at this here sorry it's not the greatest screens okay it's five watt is buying from the grid and it's four watt is buying from the grid so constantly even um trying to adjust them so they can go too much the breakers I have there is 30 amp on each 30 amp on each leg for the DC part of it on a, a kilowatt grid tight inverter limiter so this is what I have and um, I incorporate that so they can be overrated we don't want to get these things uh, too much because um for safety reasons this is why i'm saying it for for safety reasons we want to keep it this way and uh as long as doing the job and we don't want to stress them out all right so maybe i'll make um dave uh alter the uh the breaker uh sorry the thermostat so they can see the air conditioner, uh, sorry, the, the heater, house heater, the furnace kicks in and we're going to let the, uh, the, uh, the hot water heater over there kicks in so we can have load on both legs and see our adjustments, how everything works. Well, this is what is happening right now. Dave is going to alter the thermostat to see what to activate the thermostat okay now the furnace kicks in it's just a fan I can hear it. it's not even fired up yet there you go fired up okay what, what he did the heater and it turns the hot water heater so as well so we there is no chance we can able to compensate for the hot water system these are on demand so let me show you here the on demand is already there is 104 degrees fahrenheit the screens are not that the best yeah they are not the best screen to film on so it's pulling more power here and we are pulling power here so i see one breaker just flipped on the other side and if you look at here look how many what we pull about 3,000 we cannot offset that we need a bigger inverter and 3,144 3,000 so both of them trip because I have to do adjustment if I want I can increase the breakers increasing the breakers from 30 amp, maybe we can give them uh, 60 amp or 50 amp. That will do the trick. But I'm not going to have 100% trust on these uh, machines because it's running DC and uh, it's going to be in the place that is self monitoring. Nobody's going to monitor that. And uh, I want it to be more safer. So the lesser we take, it's going to be okay. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. GW Solar USA. Now.
Alright guys, I'm doing a laser test. You can see we're almost pulling. I saw 100 and something. The heat. Is uh. Let's test the bottom here. The fans. Pulling off. This is the power we're bringing in. Sorry guys for the shake. I'm on a ladder. Oh, it's 90 something. All right, this is the power we're taking out. So, it. Hey guys, I thought I have to show you guys this. This is kind of interesting. So what is happening right now? <laughs> so the batteries for Dave started getting low at 27%. So since they all hook up to the same line in the house, which is line one or line two, this is what happened. When I activate this thing to charge the batteries because it's way cloudy. So we pull in the house is pulling 15, 1600 watts to charge the batteries. And this is what is happening. The grid side is trying to reverse the power back instead of buying that much power. So it's recycling the batteries. It's recycling. The power is coming up from the from the battery bank, and uh, it's recycling the power from the battery bank. And it's putting back the power to the grid. So it's trying to. Uh, 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 um, how am I gonna say it? It's really complicated to 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 explain, and uh, so that. You recycle the power so you can't buy that much. You reduce the amount of power now it's going to be buying by 800 and something watt while it's pulling about uh, uh, 1400 watt of, of, of power from the grid. So it's trying to balance it. So, and let's go back and I can show you this is what the other side of the house is pulling. So it's trying to supplement the power back. This is really cool. And hey, let me show you what's coming in. This is how much power we put in back to the system at 71 amps. And while um, it's recycling on the same thing, I can able to shut down the grid tide so we can have a, a, a full charge quickly. And uh, by going here, then we can see the DC we are putting plus. Though we're pulling, we are putting plus 71 to the batteries. So it's like taking a little bit and reverse it and recycle it. That's the word. We are recycling the power. See how it is done here at JW Solar USA. We're recycling the power. Yeah. So we're charging the battery. It says on um, floats charge. But um, we want to go back. Well... This one is bringing 50 here, so it's really super cloudy. And let's see what this uh, which little guy can do. The kid. All right, let's see. 21 watts. 